I heard about uh, Professor Serdev and I wanted uh, to see sort of in real life, not only theory but also the real life surgery. Uh, I've already been working in the aesthetic line something like 10 years now and there's always so much more to learn and we heard about Dr. Serdev and his new procedures and I thought I shouldn't miss the chance to learn this as well. I came to know um, Dr. Serdev through one of the company in uh, Malaysia. Dr. Sadev is, uh, I consider him to be one of the, the world's authority in the suture suspension, uh, which is called the SMAS, uh, facelift, but not only facelift, but also buttocks, uh, thighs, breasts. Uh, and these things are very exciting in our country because uh, without Dr. Sadev being a pioneer in doing this, we would not be here. That is, the doctors both in, from our country, doctors from Malaysia, I think you talked with some of them, doctors from China, doctors from all over the place, doctors from Italy. Dr. Nikolai Serdev's scarless suture lifts are already a trademark in international cosmetic mini-invasive surgery. These modern and original methods change the face and the figure, lift parts of the body and remodel the silhouette without scars also known as Serdev's scarless suture methods. The Bulgarian doctor is the winner of the Award for Excellency and Devotion in Aesthetic Surgery 2000 for superiority and devotion to aesthetic surgery by the International Academy of Aesthetic Surgery and has also received the award of leaders in cosmetic surgery in the millennium by the International Federation of Aesthetic and Restorative Surgery. He was presented with the medal as the best aesthetic surgeon in Europe and Excellencia. In 2005, Dr. Serdev was officially acknowledged as one of the top surgeons in the world in his field with a special award and a gold cup. Cosmetic surgery is the fashion in the recent years and the fastest developing speciality. The specialty, aesthetic cosmetic surgery and medicine in Bulgaria, is the fastest developing separate specialty in medicine with great international prestige. It is the only medical specialty that concentrates on clinically healthy patients and on improving their appearance. To meet the high requirements and the standards for beautification, in 1993 we founded in Bulgaria the National Bulgarian Society of Aesthetic Surgery and Aesthetic Medicine. In 2001, the Ministry of Health of Bulgaria approved the specialty, aesthetic cosmetic surgery and medicine, with the purpose of specialization in this field and forming specialists with good medical practice. Dr. Sam Asasa, president of the American Association of Mini Invasive Surgeons, and the American Association of Aesthetic Medicine and Surgery owns a clinic in Olympic Boulevard in Beverly Hills and has stated in America the television sports, fashion models and movie stars are crazy about the so-called mini-invasive surgery. This cosmetic surgery technique is a delicate cosmetic surgery without scars, drastic intervention and extensive surgeries.
My idea to create closed methods of face and body liftings is based on the fact that some movable tissues can be caught, lifted and sutured to other stable, non-movable structures without cutting the skin, but only through punctures in it. I use semi-elastic threads for the sutures that allow the sewed tissues to move to some extent. This is the meaning when my methods in Brazil are called Fio Elastico Bulgaro. Cosmetic surgery, as you know, is probably more invasive um, and you probably have to do general anesthesia for the various procedures. And in aesthetic surgery, like suggested by Dr. Sadef, you don't have to put the patient under. You can do most things under local anesthesia, maybe with a sedation and with lesser complications and lesser side effects. And a patient is also more comfortable. Mini invasive surgery is the most fashionable speciality in the field of the aesthetic medicine and cosmetic surgery and is an often discussed topic even in the Oprah Winfrey talk show. The speciality of cosmetic surgery also prospers in the United Arab Emirates according to the well experienced surgeon Dr. Nabil Ajami. It seems that the strict clothes of the Arab world do not stop the longing for beautification. Today, aesthetics and young appearance is a matter of life philosophy. A successful career requires professionalism, health, beauty and well-being. The start of these methods was in 1994. Later, the idea spread out with a different understanding, and in about 2000, there appeared other methods like the Russian threads Aptos. In 2002, the Latin Americans introduced similar methods that looked like these methods, but they could not create elastic threads. They missed the stable anchoring. They transformed the method missing the stable fixation of movable to non-movable tissue that creates longevity because of stable and elastic fixation. These are some disadvantages of the non-original methods. Today the presence of Bulgaria in the world is very strong in the field of mini-invasive cosmetic surgery. I often make parallels with intravenous injections in comparison to venisection that, before decades, was done by cutting the skin in order to expose and find the vein. Nowadays, such cutting is allowed in very rare cases, only in urgent medical situations. In 1993 to 1994, being the director of the Aesthetic Surgery Clinic at the Military Medical Academy in Sofia, I was asked and we organized some congresses in Sofia and in Europe about teaching in the specialty of aesthetic surgery. All our work was aiming at reducing the trauma during the operations. Let's make an example with ultrasonic liposculpture. In 1994, I bought the most modern device for the time that allows performing the assisted liposuction without loss of blood, that is, shortening the post-op recovery and has additional effects like tightening the skin and weight loss to normal. We have to facilitate surgery and make the patient's lives easier. Many international congresses followed, where we presented the Bulgarian achievements in the many invasive methods in this speciality. In the international professional societies, people started talking about Bulgaria and the Bulgarian methods. Surgical demonstrations followed the meeting in Venezuela at the luxury clinic of Dr. Eduardo Krulig, who is also chairman of the International Academy of Aesthetic Surgery. One of the most important things we have in this meeting is the technique from Dr. Sardev, Nikolai Sardev, from Bulgaria. He's uh, one of the genius of this meeting because of his threats for a face rejuvenation, 
for a gluteal perfection and this has become all over the world as one of the most important techniques the techniques from Dr. Cervet. There, under the eyes of 300 doctors from all over the world, Dr. Serdev demonstrated his methods for rotation and projection of the tip of the nose, known as T-zone excision and columella sliding. I'm using very frequently Dr. Serdev's techniques and uh, I have a very good results and I am having uh, really uh, great satisfaction from my patients because of the results and uh, I consider these techniques a very important step forward in cosmetic surgery. Uh, at this moment I may say that almost all over the world cosmetic surgeons are using uh, Dr. Serdev's techniques. In Venezuela we have a very good cosmetic surgery and uh, it's very frequent in our ladies. Uh, actually I am the cosmetic surgeon of the Miss Venezuela Beauty Contest and uh, we have many of our uh, beautiful girls winning the Miss Universe and Miss World and Miss International as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are actually at the Guinness Book as the country which has uh, the higher number of uh, winners at these contests. Other people's favorite topic was my idea about beautifying the face based on aesthetic proportions. I demonstrated results from my sutures lifts, as well as some news in aesthetic corrections of the nose, correction of the profile, etc. It appeared that foreigners are not so familiar with all the aesthetics we study here, even at school. Well, it's trying to improve uh, uh, a patient's well-being, uh, not only physical, because obviously if you feel better, you are even psychologically it lifts not only physically but mentally. If you can have good results quickly with very little post-op discomfort, I think it's very good. I received more and more invitations for demonstrations because my methods were so different from the known classical methods with shorter time, less trauma and faster recovery. Moreover, there were no scars left and skin keloid formation is avoided, which is very important for Asians and Afro-Americans. Oh, I think very highly of it. You know, again, whenever, because I'm a cosmetic surgeon, right? Whenever you can put minimal scars on a patient's body, uh, you're certainly much better off. And when they come to us cosmetic surgeons, aesthetic surgeons, same thing, uh, for beauty, it's kind of hard to say that you're beautiful and I left you with a lot of scars. You follow me? So for me, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very rewarding to know again that we're making very minimal type incisions to no incisions, just puncture wounds, making ladies look, look very good. Very often, colleagues coming to learn are so amazed by the results that they or their spouses become my patients. And after the operations, they continue attending the demonstrations and workshops. Many doctors have changed their points of view and concepts about the cosmetic interventions. In general, I am one of the doctors who, at an international level, is introducing and requiring beautification without unnecessary cutting of skin and without scars. This year, there are many events taking place. The World Congress of the International Academy of Cosmetic Surgery was organized by Dr. Serdev Ivana, Bulgaria, and at this congress he was elected to be one of the directors of board of the International Academy of Cosmetic Surgery. In aesthetics, we cannot change the classic rules that are dogmas for beauty from the time of establishing aesthetics as a science. Of course, in obesity and advanced age, we cannot create complete beauty. Young and middle-aged people are our real candidates for beautification. 
That is why aesthetic surgery in 82% of our patients is done in young patients at the age of 18 to 25 or 35. Foreign doctors showed interest in my methods of beautification and there were many invitations from all continents for presentations and demonstrations for teaching courses. For example, only in the Philippines, five times. There I made different demonstrations like Seradef sutures, ultrasonic assisted liposculpture for beautification of face and body and whole beautification and elongation of legs and also sculpturing the face in Asians. I think aesthetics is important because um, as we are aging, as we are growing older and um, you know we start looking old and everybody wants to look good and uh, any kind of uh, small changes that we can make to enhance our looks, I think it's great, you know. In Asia, most people have different characteristics of faces, and it is a fashion to make their faces look Caucasian. At the courses held in Sofia, there arrive many foreigners, from North and Latin America, from Europe and Asia, from the Asian ethnos and from the ethnos of the African race, because surgery, with cutting of skin on the face, leaves unwanted scars and keloids in these races. That is why the suspension methods and the lifting sutures are namely these mini-invasive techniques that were necessary for these ethnos, and maybe that is why they became so popular internationally. Aesthetics is looking more at the beautification uh, of a person, uh, the proportions being equally purported, uh, the overall contour, if you will, uh, and that's aesthetics. Cosmetic surgery, it's not always looking at the, uh, the beautification part of it. It's usually making corrections, like a plastic surgeon is making corrections of things that really need to be corrected. So those two are different. Aesthetic surgery and cosmetic or plastic surgery is totally different. And when we lift off the eyebrow, it's a fashion face, huh? Okay, she can uh, use, in her case, it can be used, also the lower. I work quite a lot in, in England and there is a lot about cosmetic surgery where they seem to um, consider fillers and Botox and sort of the um, the medicine. The aesthetic uh, surgery is proportions and uh, um, angles and uh, giving, uh, I think in general it should give an overall better impression of patients even if you don't really understand what's happened. I think that's... In order to become acquainted with Dr. Sadev's lift institutes, Dr. Pierre Fournier, one of the most reputable teachers in the world in the field of cosmetic surgery, and the honorary president of the French Society of Aesthetic Surgery, came to Bulgaria. Now we had an excellent meeting with Dr. Nicolas Sardev, which is a, uh, he is the top surgeon, top uh, aesthetic surgeon in Bulgaria, and uh, is uh, well known all over the world. He made many contributions, especially his work with the slings that uh, he has developed, and uh, everybody, everyone knows that uh, Sardev is Nicolas Sardev is uh, using slings to rejuvenate the face, to rejuvenate the breast, to rejuvenate the buttocks, even the inner thigh. It is a big advance because you avoid scarring and you can have ambulatory operations. During my visit to Australia, the national television broadcast a reportage for a total lifting of the face with my lifting sutures. 
especially upper or temporal lifting. Mid face lift for creating and lifting the cheekbones upwards as well as a lower face lift. This was a live 40 minute broadcast of the demonstration for the colleagues from the Australian Academy of Cosmetic Surgery with live connection, asking and answering questions and making comments during the demonstration. In 2000, at the World Congress of Cosmetic Surgery in Tokyo, the Declaration of Tokyo was approved by 1,500 representatives from 86 countries. The Declaration stated that aesthetic cosmetic surgery is dedicated to the perfecting of beauty and is declared an autonomous and independent speciality because of the extremely specialised nature of the field of surgical beautification. I am proud of the fact that my signature is on the first page of the Declaration of Tokyo 2000 where it was proclaimed that the aesthetic cosmetic surgery is dedicated to the perfecting the beauty and in keeping with the free development of all scientific thought and because of the extremely specialized nature of the field of surgical beautification this speciality is declared as autonomous and independent. At the Congress, Dr. Serdev was given a medal as one of the five best aesthetic surgeons in Europe. After taking part in the Congress in Philadelphia, I had the perfect chance to visit my colleague and good friend, Dr. Julius Newman, who was one of the most interesting cosmetic surgeons and who has created very much about the surgery. He was the first president of the American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery. He had one of the best methods of operating on the nose. And I remember that the registration number of his car was Dr. Nose. Thanks to his knowledge and his findings, only two or three details helped me to transform my operation methods on the nose. In 2001, Dr. Sedev was awarded for his dedicated work, the Medal of Excelencia, by the Spanish Society of Cosmetic Medicine and Surgery at the Congress in Barcelona. The International College of Cosmetic Surgery accredited the clinic of Dr. Sedev as one of the 10 affiliated training centers in the overseas training program, with the clinics of Pitangui, Fournier, Cruley, Schiffman, Erian, Rebelo, Valero, Sharma, Pedroza and Fisher. Dr. Sedev was given the academic title Professor for Fellowship Assessment in Cosmetic Surgery of the International College of Cosmetic Surgery. In Bulgaria in 2001, Aesthetic Cosmetic Surgery and Medicine was established as a speciality. The teaching of Chinese doctors in the field of aesthetic surgery has started. At that time, this discipline, as in many socialist countries, was suppressed or not appreciated properly or criticized. We set great store on teaching because of the huge interest in this country. That time, I had the chance to visit the Great Wall of China, Tibet and Nepal. After an important discussion concerning the Asian cheekbones, the pros and cons of augmentation, Dr. Sedev made a live surgery to lift, augment and fulfill an Asian face in the middle anterior part and to obtain a Caucasian look immediately after surgery. 
After these exotic journeys followed my visits to Rome and Spain. We held both live demonstrations and theoretical teaching in the form of congresses and courses. For the same period in Sofia, there arrived many of our friends of importance and dear guests. This year is the 49th meeting of the International Academy of Cosmetic Surgery, which was founded by my father, Arpad Fischer, 50 years ago. Professor Pier Antonio Bacchi paved a visit to Bulgaria as well. He is a professor in aesthetic surgery in Siena and Florence. Uh, from uh, Russia, and particularly for uh, Bulgarian, we have uh, a new methodology for uh, have, uh, a resurfacing of the face. The thread. You can use only the thread to have uh, a good result without scars, without uh, change the face. And uh, uh, for this reason, I thank, sincerely, I thank my friend Professor Nikolai Serdev for his idea, his genial idea, because using the thread is possible to improve the aging of the face without a scar and without change, uh, change the, the face. This year, the International World Congress of the International Academy of Cosmetic Surgery was held in Varna, Bulgaria again. The organiser of the Congress was the responsibility of the Bulgarian Society of Aesthetic Surgery. World famous cosmetic surgeons and lecturers representing 36 countries attended the Congress. Among the world famous cosmetic surgeons present at the meeting were Dr. Ivo Patangui from Brazil and Pierre Fournier from France. For me, uh, Ivo Pitangui is not only a professor, but a very friend. I remember uh, uh, one congress in Varna, in Bulgaria, with uh, uh, Professor Serdev and uh, Professor Pitangui. Uh, I remember the light of the star and the beauty of the sea. The International Board of Cosmetic Surgery held examinations prior to the Congress for certification in the speciality of cosmetic surgery. In 2003, Dr. Serdev received an award from the World Congress of the Cosmetic Surgery in India for the Lifetime Achievement Award for Inventions in Cosmetic Surgery. That award was also given to Pierre Fournier for teaching activities and to an Indian doctor for his local contribution. At the International Symposium of Cosmetic Surgery in Shenyang, Leaders in the field of cosmetic surgery were honoured. These included Pierre Fournier from France, Tony Erian from Cambridge, Great Britain, Angelo Rebello from Portugal, and Nikolai Serdev from Bulgaria. The radio and TV channels in China showed Dr. Serdev's achievements to a very large audience. Dr. Serdev lectured in various fields of cosmetic surgery and his colleagues were introduced to his techniques, the scarless lifting sutures with anchoring points. These methods allow surgeons to lift parts of the face and the body to sculpture it into a perfect aesthetic shape in a shorter time and with minimum trauma. The operations are ambulatory and are performed in such a delicate manner that the patients could be back to work in two to three days. The suture methods can beautify, restructure and perfect aesthetic proportions, volumes and angles of the human face and body 
by fixing, lifting and augmenting the tissues into a more perfect figure and face. I found that interest in my mini-invasive suture methods is huge at an international level. I have to travel to different continents and countries, as well as teaching many foreign specialists in Sofia. And what is the white shiny thing below? <laughs> Huh? Easy, huh? Yeah. That's why uh, in this area the color stays. My name is uh, Dwight Reynolds. Dwight Reynolds. Uh, I'm from uh, Parkland, Florida, which is right outside of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, my training is general surgery and emergency medicine. Bernard Slater. Uh, from no, I, I live in Italy, uh, but I was born in South Africa, but I, I work in England too. Uh, I'm, I'm Dr. Paramjit Kaur. I know you're going to have a bit of trouble because I'm Indian, so the Indian names are difficult to pronounce. <laughs> My name is Dr. Venkat from Malaysia. Two centimeters above the zygoma, uh, the temporal fascia uh, divides into superficial temporal fascia and deep temporal fascia. The cosmetic surgery is based on a bride basis of specialities and uses their knowledge. But its goal is not healing. My clinic is engaged in the International University Program for training and specialization of doctors in cosmetic surgery, together with other internationally accredited clinics. The free, the coronal line, and here is the upper temporal rim. So that point A, point B, A1, B1. Well, I've been um, advised by several surgeons in Italy that uh, there was this particular type of technique and I was interested in the finding ways to minimize scars and uh, uh, make surgery more accessible with time, less time after surgery, less post-op. Uh, so this is a, a pioneering thing, this is a major movement uh, and the beautification of male and females, but primarily females, uh, without major scars. Intradermal and superiostal. Small amount, drops only. Everything, like instruments and threads and my methods, is a Bulgarian production and it is difficult to resemble. It could be made to look like, but is difficult to resemble. It's movable, you see? And thick, subgallial. Beauty is the aim of aesthetic cosmetic surgery. Aesthetic means uh, art of beautification. Cosmetic, in Latin, means uh, methods of beautifications. Medium elastic tension. If you pull too much, you will break the thread. We are moving fascia to fascia. Skin is not necessary for us. Um, actually, today is our first day. We haven't finished all the training and all the methods. Uh, but if it's easy, I'll try. Maybe I may try. Why not? I don't think it's so difficult to do it on yourself. If uh, we are brave enough to give the local anesthesia and then we can do it. But um, that's a concern there because I might get myself lopsided. <laughs> But I, I don't think it's going to be very typical. I don't know. Do you think it's easy? I don't know. I can't see. Uh, well, I think eyes are very important. I would start with eyes if I had to do something. Yes. On me? Yes. I probably need something. I'm 55 years old. Uh, I, I'll probably, ha I'll probably have them do maybe perhaps a little mid, a little mid facelift on the on the nasal labial folds here. Uh, but at 55. Most of the time I look pretty decent for, for 55, especially the face. Now in terms of the abs, something totally different. We fix the gallia to the temporal fashion.
Dr. Serdev was honoured with the award of Leader in Cosmetic Surgery by the International College of Cosmetic Surgery for his personal achievements in the field. The award was officially presented to him by the Minister of Health on the eve of the World Congress of Cosmetic Surgery in Goa, India. The Bulgarian National Association of Aesthetic Surgery and Medicine awarded Dr. Serdev with the Statuette of Venus for significant and unique contribution to the development of the aesthetic surgery in Bulgaria. The rank Honorary Professor of the New Bulgarian University was given to Dr. Nikolai Serdev, MD, PhD, a surgeon with practical and research contribution in the field of aesthetic and cosmetic surgery. I would like to show my deep gratitude to the honoured Professor Bogdanov, to the Rector and to all my dear colleagues and guests. The new Bulgarian university that has the well-deserved fame of a modern university with a brilliant spirit of enterprise gave first in Bulgaria a great academic attitude to one of the most modern and prosperous specialties in the world, the aesthetic cosmetic surgery and medicine. In Asia, most people have different characteristics as faces, and it is a fashion to make their faces look Caucasian.